A pleasant day, everyone. By the way, I am Professor Levita Castillo Mapata, your instructor in this subject. This is CAM 36, and that is about fundamentals of organic chemistry. So this is the introductory part, and let us go on with this different. These are the different. Okay, these are the different topics that will be discussed in this chapter. So these are the key questions that we are going to discuss. That is, what is organic chemistry? Where do we obtain organic compounds? And how are we going to write the structural formulas of organic compounds? And what are functional groups? Oh, these are just four questions, but this will take time for us to discuss this. So, organic chemistry is one of the basic no, branches of chemistry. Can you still remember your, can you still remember your Chem 16? Yeah, so this is inorganic chemistry, or that is, taken in CHEM 16, which is the principles of, principles of chemistry. Then we have the organic chemistry. Organic chemistry has something to do with carbon containing compounds. No? So in the organic chemistry, it will be dealing with organic compounds. What are organic compounds? Most of the organic compounds class contains carbon and chons, that is chons, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Pero gamay ra ang nitrogen of sulfur. Mostly, the com component of organic compounds are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. That's the most basic, okay? That is why it's so-called organic, na? organic or carbon containing compounds, okay? mostly it comprises of carbon. So we can find these organic compounds, especially if you go to a grocery, na? everything that you can see there comes from organic compounds. For instance, the food, na? the flavors, the fragrance, medicine even, the toiletries, na? that is being made from organic compounds. Uh, even in the housing, uh, housing, housing facilities, for instance, for the paint, the varnishes, that still comprises organic compounds. Uh, so even our bodies have that organic compounds. Okay, so that is why we need to study organic chemistry. If you look into the earth crust, uh, so if this is now the elements, okay, uh, in the pie graph, you can see most of the element that is abundant is this one, this oxygen, that is 49.5%, and followed by silicon, this is 25.7%. What are silicon? Silicon is very useful. This is used even in no katang paghimo og mga tangan ani kaning uh, use for add on no add on for beauties no add on for no breast enhancement no yes silicone ginabutang na then if you need to have a nose no nose lift silicone gyapon ginabutang Hmm? See, that is how important silicon is. Even in technology, no, silicon is needed, especially those who want to cut off their no, electricity oh, by means of solar. Okay, so the panel there, the solar panel, are made of silicon. So the gun and silicon sa earth crust nato. Then, then, Traces of these elements are aluminum, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, hydrogen, titanium, and others. No? So the these are now the composition of the elements. 
mas daghan ang oxygen followed by silicon so may sunod it is aluminum then iron no that is in the earth crust so majority of organic compounds have only few elements atok di sulti inyong chons carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur no chiefly hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen mainly also contain sulfur or known as halogen. What are halogen? The fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Pero gamay rin na siya. That is why the organic compounds comprises only of these few elements. Pero bisag few siya, lisod ga pun siya, ipangalan. Nga naman, later on, you will find it out. Okay. No? So that is it. Why do we need to study organic chemistry? Actually, looking back into the history, the first one, no? the first organic compounds which is derived from living organism is known as the urea. No? Urea. And that is synthesized by Wooler. No? Wooler that is synthesized way back 1828. No? So According to this theory that vital force, that organic compounds, no, organic compounds could only be taken from living organisms. No? Organic compounds can be derived only from living organisms. No? That is according to the law of vitalism, a vital force. But later on, what happened? Wooler discovered that urea. No, could be synthesized using sugar, no? sugar starch. No? Compounds such as sugar could be synthesized, no? not from the living organism. No? That is according to urea. Asa man nakuha ni Kuan, ni Wooler, during his laboratory analysis. No? Urea is, kapalo mo sa urea, urea now is the one which is used as fertilizer. No? So, ma synthesize the inertia in the laboratory, no need to be taken in the living organism. No? So, that is the, the fall of that so called vital force. No? Okay. How it is being done? No? That urea. No? Urea is taken from Ammonium chloride plus silver nitrate. No? When you hit it, you will produce urea. So urea is now the one which is used as fertilizer. Okay, That is for the history of organic chemistry. So the study of these compounds started by Kikuli. That is 1861. Now this is now the so-called the death law of vitalism. No? According to this theory, that is the vital force, vital force is natural products comes only from living organism. No? So this chemistry will only occur in the living organism. But nowadays it's not because no, natural vitamins could be extracted using this is in the laboratory, no? No need for, for instance, for instance, insulin. Insulin is taken from the original, the original insulin was taken from the pancreas of the pig, a pig, okay. If that will happen, no? Katong nga diabetic karon, may tabo. Magpatay ang perting daghan ng baboy, no? Tapos kwaon lang ang pancreas, no? In order to cure for insulin. But nowadays, no longer. Why? Because this could already synthesize in the laboratory as insulin, no? So that is it. That is the death blow of the theory of vitalism. What is the second reason? Why do we need to study organic chemistry? Because this is, no, 
Second, for the study of carbon compounds, this is a separate discipline, no? separate discipline in organic compounds. And at the same time, there is a need to synthesize more and more of a new organic compounds. No? In Hanglan Yunashia, no? it is estimated that 10,000 new ones are reported each year. No? The one which is discovered as a product in organic compounds. So chemists, not only chemists, but scientists need to discover this. This is for the good of humankind. No? Even medicine for COVID-19, what happened? It needs to be discovered. That is why we have now the vaccine. No? That is being no, distributed to different nations, but actually World Health Organization only allowed that nine months ago, ro, the Moderna, the Pfizer, the Sinovac like that, that is the one that is allowed because it has already passed that stage we're in, no, the standard for the World Health for use as a vaccine. So that vaccine is a product of organic chemistry into medicine, no? Okay, no. So by comparison, chemists have discovered or synthesized estimated 1.7 million in organic compounds. So mas daghan ang organic compounds compared with in organic compounds. In organic compounds, 1.7 million, while for organic compounds, that is 10 million. Okay. Why? Because organic compounds is much more needed for food clothing, like that. It's and medicine and even for technology. So that makes organic compounds much needed in the industry. So approximately 85% of known compounds are organic compounds. So see, that is why it needs to be studied. The third reason is one particularly important no? reason here is to study biochemistry, you need to be what? No? Especially for the scientists no? who wants to delve on medicine, they should have this three no, aspect in chemistry that they should know. First is organic chemistry so that they will know what particular compound is needed to be discovered, to be used. No? Second is biochemistry so that they will know its reaction. Unsa ang mga, no? Unsa ang mga uh, needed reaction for this in the body. No? For instance, no, biochemistry studies about these biochemical compounds such as the carbohydrates, the lipids, the proteins, enzymes, the nucleic acid, so on and so forth, no hormones, vitamins. But no, this is important in chemical system. But organic chemistry needs to know what are the compounds. No, present in these carbohydrates. What are the compounds present in these lipids? And not sure, the structure. So you could not study biochemistry without, no, without going back to organic chemistry because this is a prerequisite in a way, especially in the meaning of the compounds is the third reason. So the knowledge of organic chemistry is essential for understanding biochemistry. Now, for instance, now, acetyl salicylic acid, no? this is acetyl salicylic acid. Dili na sila pareho ha? Acetyl salicylic acid and this is salicylic acid. Okay. I still remember what is salicylic acid? Salicylic acid is important especially kanang may mga up-up gamay. Uh, pero pag pag puan ana pag apply gamay ra siya. Oh, kay aron gili masunog. Okay. If there are fungus, 
Okay, no? Kung gusto, pwede po natin mo i-apply ng salicylic acid. Okay, take a look, no? What is the difference in the structure of acetyl salicylic and salicylic? This is salicylic. You have only one benzene ring here. Here, benzene ring with. Now, kani, kani, kani. Now, this is now your acetyl. Okay. And this is your salicylic acid. See, you need to know organic chemistry before you can identify the compound in biochemistry. So biochemistry and organic chemistry is the stepping stone in order to come up with medicine. No? So those who are having, no, mga, the one who produces medicine, of course, they have a wide knowledge in organic chemistry and biochemistry so that they could no, delve more on medicines, no? compound, no? medicines that is in terms of pharmaceutical. Even in industry, what are polymers? Polymers are, these are very large macromolecules and they are important in making of clothes. Okay, my fibers like that, that is polymer. Okay, then polymers also is, in the making of the plastic and potentia, no? that is in the in the industry, even in explosives and petrochemicals. Petrochemicals is in fuel. No? This is 246 trinitro no? toluene, or in short TNT. This is explosive. No? Kanang ginabutang sa dynamite mo ni ang TNT. Okay. That this is the polypropylene, which is the starting point for polymers. Morgan is starting point niya sa structure. Then, daghang polypropylene. Na? That is why we need to study organic <coughs> chemistry. Okay, so let us compare now na, the properties of organic and inorganic. So organic compounds, no, what is the bonding? Oh, can, can you still remember? There are two types of a bond. That is the covalent. Covalent is the sharing of electrons, while ionic is the transfer of electrons. No? So what kind of bonding is in organic? It is covalent. For inorganic, it is ionic. No? So most of organic compounds, no, some are in form of gases liquids or solid and they have low melting point here no sa to sa organic compounds pwede siya liquid solid na and gases pero sa inorganic compounds mostly siya solid with a high melting point here with a low melting point no because organic compounds are insoluble in water while inorganic compounds are soluble in water. This is insoluble. No? That is why so like dissolves like the polar mansia, the polar solvent Kani non-polar solvent, uh, it's the other way. That this is non-polar solvent. No? Kinahalan po no? non-polar ang nimo. No? Unlike here, it if it is polar, polar put ang imong solute nimo ang imong solvent polar put. No? So, most are soluble organic solvents such as diethyl. This is the one that we use in the laboratory for organic chemistry lab. No? We use this diethyl ether toluene and dichloromethane methane as our solvent. Pero sa laboratory, sa inorg, we, we just use water. No? Nanuman, dili ni siya madissolve if you will be using water. No? Unlike before, we use benzene, but we found out, no, chemists found out that benzene are carcinogenic substances. That is why it is already no, not, no, not used in the laboratory. This is banned already. No? So aqueous solution do not conduct electricity. 
because it's organic compounds. While here, the aqueous solution forms ions no? that conduct electricity. Why? Because electricity will only be no, will only be possible if there is a charge. What charge? The positive and the negative charge. No? So organic compounds almost all burn and decompose. No? Here, inorganic compounds, very few burn. No? Kaninga ni a careful, must careful good. That is why during laboratory, no? in the face to face situation, we tend to be careful in the laboratory. No? Laboratory instructors should always be present during laboratory no? activity because most of organic compounds, especially if it is solvent, are flammable. No? It could be burned. No? Unlike here, okay, Rabia, ang kaya naman, dili siya flammable ang mga solvent na gamit. So, and organic compounds reactions are usually slow. That is why during laboratory class no, in organic chemistry, it will take two to three hours before makakuha o no, mahuman sa laboratory. That is why dugay ang dugay ang laboratory time in organic chemistry. Unlike in inorganic, dali ra. Kaya naman, reaction is very fast. Especially if you are going to add hydrochloric acid, na, and you, na, you just place magnesium bigon. Kapag butan yung magnesium, shh, it will create bubbles. Okay. And that magnesium ribbon, for a few minutes, it will disappear. No? That is how fast the reaction in inorganic compounds. Okay. What are the main characteristics of organic compounds? First, organic compounds are flammable. Mao ganing dili pwede dia an sa laboratory, no? And they could decompose to gases and and na, in case they do not contain metals in their structure. So the li regular mo decompose of flammable ang organic compounds. Second, the reaction is very slow, no? Then some organic compounds contain high amount of halogens. Most of the compounds contains chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. They are halogens. No? Organic compounds that have, have high content of halogen tends to be less flammable. No? You will find it out later on. Nga no, no? So, where do we obtain organic compounds? Okay, so there are two ways in obtaining organic compounds. No, first is isolation from nature. We isolate ikuha ni mo siya sa iyang source. No, the second is synthesis in the laboratory. Synthesis. What does it mean by synthesis? For instance, there are no sea slug. No, we have sea slug na. Uh, it is a snail with, no? it is a snail, but it has, it is a snail without cover. No? Tapos na siya sungay okay, in the oceans. No? The more colorful it is, the more colorful this snail, uh, that is his slug. No? Snail na na siya nga, wala siya shell. Okay. The more colorful it is, it was found out by most of the scientists that it has a very potent way of curing cancer. No? But the problem is, no? if you're going to have it in the cure, no? for cure, what happened is, ang may tabo, daghang kang patyon nga sislag. Hmm, daghang mahurot. No? Why? Because it needs in the in the so-called knowing its compound, the isolate pa ni mo siya, then you are going to have it for laboratory analysis. What particular compound is present in that certain sea slug or in, in a certain plant, no? which will be useful for medicine. So what happened is, mahurot siya. But, no? we, the chemist, 
nowadays or the scientists, what they did is just get a portion of this, that sea slug or this uh, plant for medicinal purposes and they will analyze it in the laboratory. Pag analyze nila, makita na yon nila ang structure. Pag kita nila structure, they will just synthesize it. Ana na siya. So no need to kill all those Okay, same thing with the insulin. An insulin which is taken from the pancreas of, that's the original, no? Pancreas of the pig, no? So, pero di nakaroon. Kaya naman, they synthesize it, they look into the formula, no? They, no, they discover that this could be made use, using this analog in the laboratory. So, two ways in obtaining organic compounds, it's isolation from the nature. Pero problema is gasto kaayo. No? Dali, di not gasto, dali ra siya mahurot. So, what happened is, it is synthesized in the laboratory. No? Aron, mas daghan siya. There will be a mass production for it. No? So, the isolation from nature, no? That is, living organisms are chemical factories. Yes, no? There are, no? There are thousands of plants na, and it has its medicinal use, no? So, we have different sources. The terrestrial, terrestrial that is in the land. Then the marine, the freshwater plants, the flora and the animal fauna. Even microorganisms such as bacteria make thousands of organic compounds by a process called biosynthesis. No? So what is the process of coming up with a compound no? in the laboratory? It is known as biosynthesis. Okay. So one way to get organic compounds is to extract, isolate, and purify from biological sources, especially for those who are taking pieces in the BS bio, what they did if in case they want to synthesize a plant no, to know its no, organic compounds that is used for medicine, what they do is just for extract. How they are using it for extract, meaning for a 100 grams of plant, they just soak it with alcohol. Then afterwards, they will have it no in a way adding with alcohol then extract out of that 500 ml the ten to five ml and this will be brought into the laboratory to analyze what particular compound is present and what is that extraction not extract then isolate then purify okay for instance, this vitamin E, no? penicillin, the table sugar, insulin, all of these are being extracted in the laboratory. No? Penicillin actually is no? found out by means of serendipity. What do you mean by serendipity? It is accidental. When Alexander Fleming, what happened? No? He molds the experiment. In this elabog niya, pag Niya, mauna de ito'y source sa penicillin. Uh, penicillin is the first antibiotic and this is the one which is being used very useful during World War II. Wala pa man ang mga laing antibiotic to una. Why? Because soldiers during World War II, they will die because of what? Kaning infection. Na? Kana ma-amputate sila. Pag-amputate, na? Amputate ka ng putlon, putlon kabot, putlon ana. If you are not going to have it with antibiotic, you will not die of uh, what you call this because nakat, no? No, you will die of infection. No? Wana na dayo, may infect na siya bacteria, no? What happened? It needs antibiotic. Kanagan ni masamad ta, tinga na lang dayo ka, o di nga ni kakainom o antibiotic, what will happen? Mumaga, no? Yeah. So, antibiotic is needed. And that is the first antibiotic that is being 
use is penicillin. Tung una. Pero kung dapat man nakaayon, no? And I could try or like that, so on and so forth. So that is isolation, no? Okay. This is, what is this? No? This is a refinery, no? Refinery for, no? Refinery for gasoline, no? Okay. This one here, refinery. So what happened for the gasoline, no? In the Philippines, once we drill out, mm, drill out, we'll have pipes, that was a drill nato underneath our, no? underneath the soil, no? ang mugawas is too big. Balis yala sa Middle East. What happened is if you are going to drill, dili too big ang mugawas. It will be crude oil. Okay. And that crude oil, what happened? It needs to be refined. Uh, so that is extraction. Extraction, refinery and tank storage facilities in Texas. Texas. So what happened is they drill it out. Then afterwards, ila dayo na siyang i-refine. Mau gani nga na ay gasoline na ay all this gasoline na ay octane, mati ba? Na ay gasoline na ay octane na apa gyo diesel like that. Okay, na petroleum. Yeah, it will depend on the refinery. Same thing with the sugar cane. No? Sugar cane, what happened? No? So, the sugar cane, it will be squeezed out. Pag squeeze na yun siya, ana, no? ang muunang mugawas ar ka ng mga kamay. Itum, mm, kinugay. Then, that will be processed. Pag process, ana, mahimong centripugal. No? At ang medyo brown. Then after that, i, kwan pag yun siya, mahimong white sugar. Misty. And that is the process in the laboratory. Okay. How about how about the synthesis? No? The one that we have discussed is about extraction. So synthesis is now compounds made in the laboratory are identical in both chemical and physical properties. No? So how it is being Synthesize, no? What happened is they get it from the nature. Then afterwards, they will look into the composition of that certain compound no? in the laboratory. Of course, they need equipment. Now, for instance, in knowing, no? in knowing the medicinal component, extract sanila after extraction, they will place that extract in. No? For instance, mass spectrophotometer. That mass spectrophotometer is no, an equipment that will identify unsa ang mga compound na present by means of the peaks. Peaks na siya. No? Trabaho na analytical chemist. No? That is synthesis in the laboratory. No? Vitamin C. No? Take a look. Osaka. No? Uh, ang pinakadaghang ko no, ng equivalent is ang usak ko no ka what you call this? Usak gamay nga guava that is equivalent already to 30 pieces of 30 pieces of calamansi juice. Calamansi. No? So, what happened is they synthesize this vitamin C that is why na ascorbic acid. No? Ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is Vitamin C. Pero ang dili makasakit sa tiyan is you drink sodium ascorbic. Ascorbic, no? Dili siya hapto sa tiyan. Pero medyo mahal, mahal, no? Mga bata, it is a must that you should take vitamin C once a day. Nga naman, this will help strengthen our no, immune system. Kinahang lang yun ang vitamin C. Bisag duha pagani a day. And there is no such thing as overdose of vitamin C. Now, nga naman, after 16 hours, you will excrete ang sobra ni mga vitamin C intake imong igawas through your vein. Now, have you observed it? Once you drink vitamin C, 
after na few minutes or few hours nga mo ihi ka ang color grabe ka orange yeah na that is the start of the extraction of vitamin C in our body na so that is it vitamin C can be extracted in the laboratory and now being extracted in the industry okay na taxol na Taxol is a bark of a single 100 year old tree, no? That yields taxol, no? So this is, no? Tigulang nga kahoy. They found out that it has that taxol by means of, no? The bark niya, the bark niya. They kwaan nilang bark. Then they found out. Then they isolate it. Pag isolate niya, uwe kani di ay siya this bark. Of a yew tree has a taxol. Na what is taxol, by the way? Na taxol is important in medicine. Na that is this is now its structure. Okay. So organic chemists, however, na they are not just satisfied in duplicating nature's compound. Duplicate naman nila. Kana synthesis is that. They duplicate the natural compound into synthetic. Anak mo na itawag sa duplicate, no? They have also synthesized compounds not found in nature, no? So the majority of the more than 10 million known organic compounds are purely synthetic, and they don't exist in the living organism. So the first theory about vitalism is already not accepted. Okay, no. so for example, no, the volume, what's volume? Volume is used as painkillers, especially kana mga, mga, mga uh, cancer patient where in the pain is very, no, the pain is already more than, no, beyond, beyond ng maantos. So they added, no, Most of the cancer patient are being ipatik ng volume. Aron, they will be relieved from pain, and at the same time, they can sleep. Ana siya mo nang once makatik ani, what will happen is rugi ka, and it will be painless. No, especially for those cancer patient na ana sa taas ng stage fourth and fifth stage nga it could no longer be there is no possibility for cure in order to no prolong their life what happen is you just give a pain killer no to suppress pain kay grabe yung kasakit ang pinakasakit ko no nga cancer is cancer of the bones and the cancer of the brain yeah so these are now modern drugs Which is isolated. The volume, the albuterol, the Prozac, Santac, Solof, Lasix, Viagra, and the Enovid. No, asa na balan niyo? Oh, this Viagra is oh, especially now especially used by old men. Okay, this is for enhancement of sexual enjoyment. No. Pero na problema ana. Okay, all of this had side effect. Synthetic organic compounds not found. These are synthetic compounds not found in nature. No, and they could not be bought over the counter without prescription. No, ang ma palit lang kanirang aspirin and ibuprofen, di ba? Papalit ta? Hmm. Palab labad sa ulo. Tung unap yung makag-medical, but now, no more. It is ibuprofen. Okay. So, this modern drugs could not be, could not be bought in the pharmacy without prescription. Okay. So, how do we write now the structural formula of a compound? It started with carbon. Nga naman, unsa mang naa sa carbon? Hmm. Let's go back to inorganic compounds, right? If you look into carbon, 
Carbon has how many? Naan na siya ay four dots. Di ba? Hmm. Pila ka buok? Electrons? O pat. Okay. So, carbon, that is one, one, one. No? So, in this way, carbon is very special element because it could bond in four times. No? Upper, down, side, side. Here, take a look. That is carbon. Carbon could be, no, could branch out that portion there, branch out here, branch out there, branch. So, kaupat siya pwede makabranch. That makes carbon special. No? This is known as ethanol. Ay, makabla ka kay isa-isa hong yun na to na ang naming. No? So, a structure formula shows all the atom present in a molecule as well as the bond connection. So your carbon here is connected with hydrogen, 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 and connected to another carbon. And your carbon here is connected again to this. And that. Basta ang carbon, what makes it special? Because it could no, connect into four sides. No? And you still remember the Lewis structure, no? which was discovered by Gilbert Lewis? No? Go back to the periodic table. Imagine the periodic table. Diba? It is being grouped into the uh, vertical. No? Vertical, that is ana siya. Group 1A, group 2A, like that. Okay. Kung asa siya na butang a group, meaning, group 1A, meaning its electron, it has an excess of one electron. No? And in the outermost shell, or not using one electron. No? For instance, hydrogen. Hydrogen has one electron. No? How will you know the number of electrons? The atom, the atomic number. Pinakauna, hydrogen. So hydrogen, pinaka electrons. Usa. Because protons and electrons is equal. So for your atomic number pertains to the number of protons or number of electrons. Okay. So if it is being grouped here, manungi group man siya 1A because they have similarities in its properties. Okay. Group 1A, kanata ng group 1A, na ay osaka dot. Meaning, they have na, the outside, the outermost shell, it has one. Group 2A, the outermost shell, it has two, so on and so forth. No? Carbon has four, meaning na ay upat ka electron. So, all group one, A, so ang imong dat, usa. Group two, duha ka dat. Group three, tulo ka dat. Group four, upat. Ang carbon na asa, ika upat. No? That is what is meant by valent shell. The outermost occupied electron of the shell. No? So the valence electrons, electrons in the valence electron shell no, are used in the chemical bonds. Kadumdo mo, the sharing and the sharing and the transfer of electrons. Asama na to kwaon. It is in the Lewis structure, in the dot. No? In the dot. Or the one, no? the number of electrons in the outermost shell. So Lewis dot structure, this will represent no, the inner shell electrons. That is Lewis dot structure. Now, see here, no? hydrogen group one, can group one manitanan. So hydrogen one, lithium, sodium. Group two punishia, so duha puka that. Group three, here is now our carbon. No? It has four. No? That's meaning it could connect in four ways. Okay. So carbon is unique. Why? It has six electrons in the outer shell that arranges 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. No? Kani is the first energy level. Kani ang naa sa second energy level. Na? Opat. Na? Nabili nga ni opat. It has room for four bonds 
to other four atoms. That makes carbon unique. You know? So organic compounds have a specific geometry around the carbon to carbon bond. You know? So if there are four atoms or groups around carbon, it has a tetrahedral geometry. Naiopatka, uh, way of connecting. No? So carbon normally forms four covalent. They share, no? not ionic. Ionic is transfer, diba? It will share with other unpaired electrons, okay? Nitrogen normally forms three covalent band and has one unshared pair electrons. But for carbon, it has four covalent bands. Oxygen has two covalent bands, no? Has two unshared pair of electrons. Hydrogen, usara It's only hydrogen which will have, no? Once you pair it, it will have two, maximum of two. The rest, it should have eight, no? So halogen has one covalent bond and has three unshared pair of electrons because it is what? Seven. No? Okay. Oh, yeah. One. Meaning the outermost shell is it needs one, a seven man shell. No? Okay. So the carbon atom forms a tetrahedral structure with 109 bond angle. Tetrahedral, one, two, three, four. This is your carbon, and this could bond with four others. At what angle? It is 109. No? So the modern, no? this is the three dimensional. <clears throat> Once we write the structural formula for carbon, pwede na siya carbon din yan na, 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 na. Pero pwede po na to siya of a chain like this. That's a chain. And this is a straight one, na? The simplified and branched chain, na? So if you look here, this is our carbon atoms in a tetrahedral form. This one is in a zigzag, no? This one, zigzag form, kani kani, zigzag form, tawag ana zigzag pattern. And this one is in a straight, linear, no? Which is, no? Linear, simplified branch. We will find it out later on how to write this, no? So, here are the different ones. Kadumdumos inyong Chem 16, diba? Pwede siya single band, double band, or triple band. This ethane has a single band na, with your carbon carbon. Na. This carbon carbon has a double band. This carbon carbon has a triple band. Na. You will find it out later what are the names of this. Hili kay importante pa karon later na, na. So this is a triple band single sec double bond this is single bond with nitrogen but it has a lone pair and yeah, yeah. then double bond with oxygen with two lone pairs okay like that no? so that is what is meant by single double and triple bond no? single bond has one pi bond and one sigma bond right? double bond is one Pi band and two sigma band. No? Here, one pi band and oh, triple band, one pi band and two sigma. And double band is one pi and one sigma. Kani, one pi regulation. Okay. So, following this structural formula, no? this is known as. No? Acetic acid is Acetic acid is suka. Mm. CH3COOH. How are we going to write that in the straight form? Can you In the this straight form. No? Then C is at the center. Pilakabook hydrogen. Tolo. One, two, three. Then followed by another C. 
Kung sa may naa sa C, that is oxygen. Duha ka oxygen o usa ka hydrogen. Oh. Nga nung kinahanglan mag-double bond. Ganyan hiya. No? Diba? This is your carbon. If you are going to look into your carbon, how many branch? There are four. One, no? one, two, one, two, three, four. But how many electrons? It should be eight. That is two. Ang Osaka, no? Osaka straight ana, no? It has two electrons. Therefore, that is two, four, six, eight. And here, if you will only have one here, what happened is kuang siya. That is one. So two, four, six rasya. That is why you need to have a double bond. Huh? Double bond to make this into eight electrons. Here, same here. Huh? Okay. So this is our acetic acid in a form of this is known as the stick and ball ball and stick model any any na kung naa pa lang ta face to face we can have it using the model na the molecular model wala man na? so we have here our problem na this is our ethanol how to write this na so honey this ethanol and this is propene. No? In writing it, kung saan pag-write, unahon sa niyo, tanahon niyo, pila ka buo carbon. Unahon sa ng carbon. Unya na ng mga side niya. So, pila ka carbon sa duha. O sa duha. I-connect the animo. Then, tanawa ang carbon nga niya. No? First carbon here, how many hydrogen? Tulo. So, you branch it out. One, two, three. Ang ikadawang carbon, no? pila ka buo hydrogen? No? Duha. Then, connected din siya sa oxygen. Una pa ang hydrogen. No? Here in the propene, this second here, what happened is, same thing. Pila kakabok carbon. Ako oh, yung carbon. One, two, three. So, one, two, three. Kunya na din sa, iana sa ninyo daan. Okay. Usa-usa sa. No? So, ang branching ani is to look a carb hydrogen. One, two, three. Then, sunod ani, Usara ka hydrogen. Ang sunod ani usapu ka hydrogen. Then another hydrogen. If that will be the case, if we are going to look here for your kani, for your carbon, if usara na ngan ha, six ra ka electrons, dili pwede. So to make it into eight, you add another double one. So what will happen? Pila na ka electrons? Two, four, six, eight. Kung gani ah, kwinta ha, pila ka electrons? Two, four, six, eight. Because one slash, one dash, dash ba na? One dash has two electrons. So that is how to write the structural formula. So let us look into the functional group of organic compounds. Na? What do you mean by functional group? If you look into the formula, what makes it unique is its functional group. More japo na pagtan sa no, pag tanaw sa tao, na agud, every person has a unique, na, unique, uniqueness. For instance, uh, na itaw nga, wapak ay siya kay pikot yang mata. Na itaw nga, nice kay yang hair. Na itaw nga, meaning that is the distinction of that person. And that is in the organic compounds. That is the distinction of that group. No? Oh, nabe, grouping squad, K-pop girls. Oh, all of them are beautiful. Okay. Na siya distinction daan. Okay. There is a characteristic. No? And if you are going to look into the deeper sense, no? na gina siya the same ilang properties, the same ilang chemical behavior for the functional group. So these are the different functional groups. There are no? Six common. Rudaghan pa kya po siya. Pero mong gani ang istadihan na to. No? Alcohol. No? What makes it distinct in alcohol? How will you know it's alcohol? Because of this functional group. OH. No? Basta na gani OH. No? Meaning it 
is an alcohol. Example of that is that is the ethyl alcohol or ethanol. How will you know it's amine? Amine, da, amine, amine. Huh? Amen, amine. Okay. For the amine, what makes it distinct? Because of the presence of NH2 here, that is the ethanamine. Da? Then for aldehyde, it has that formula of CHO. I mean, CHO. C double bond OH, this one, that's ethanol. For ketone, no? you will have only C double bond O. That's a ketone, can it? acetone. Acetone is the one that is used to remove no? kanang mga tanil to another color. No? Then carboxylic acid, you have that distinct functional group of C double bond OOH. No? C, one, we call it COOH. Okay, here. C double bond OOH. That's an acid example. It's acetic acid. Ester is, it has a distinct function of C double bond O, then OR. This R here are another, no? another alkyl group. Later on, you will find it out. No? So what is this? No? How will you know? This is estragol. Okay. Also, my mga functional group ang present ani. No? How will you know? So, estragol is a phenyl protein natural organic compound. Phenyl kay na ashe kani kani kani. What makes it phenyl is kani na ay uh, one na one uh, one two three na no? one isoprene isopropene isopropene unit that is phenyl. What makes it phenyl? Kani ang phenyl mo ni ang propene. Phenyl is the ring, the benzene ring. Kani kani. That's phenyl. Okay. So it's hydrocarbon siya. Huh? So this estragol is used for perfumes and food additives for flavor. No, huh? that's it. You will know nga. Ah, na ashe benzene ring, na na apagod siya kani hydrocarbons ni siya kanya na po double bond kani pagyun usa man siya like that, no? How will you know because of the presence of the functional group? So in summary, what are functional groups? No, these are sites of predictable chemical behavior. No, a particular functional group that could be seen in a compound. Huh? Then this will determine in large measure the physical properties of a compound. If you talk about alcohol, okay, alcohol no, has distinct properties. And lower no, from no, until but butanol, puede pa siya ma dissolve. No? Pero higher alcohol dili na more distinct properties. No? It has that distinct property. Then they will serve as unit by which classify organic compounds in the families. This will be the identifying marks. Ay, na ay COOH, it's a carboxylic acid. Okay. When I see HO, it's an aldehyde like that. Now this will serve as the basis for naming organic compounds. Naming organic compounds will differ in its functional group. Lahi, kada functional group, lahi po ang iyang names. No? So, for instance, alcohols, no? what is present in the OH, this is the hydroxyl group. No? The hydroxyl group OH is bonded to tetrahedral carbon, like that. That, like that, no? that is an alcohol. We can have condensed structural. May may condensed structural formula. Kung magsunod ganit ng CH3, CH3, CH2, CH3, 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 that we can have it in a condensed. Ganit. Ang una yun, Anna, is CH3, followed by CH2, CH2. Ha? Okay. Mudagang ganit na CH2, pwede na na ni mo siya humuan o parenthesis. That is known as homologous series. Like that. Na? This is CH. Ang condensed formula, kanina nag-permit. Diba yung po sa inyo, 
carbon hydrogen na dito sa gari ang sulod no that is CH3 CH2 CH no so and shared pair of electrons also in a condensed formula condensed formula kana lang yung Fermi makita ang CH3 CH2 CH na so alcohol can be classified into not only alcohols even amines na alcohols can be classified as the primary secondary and tertiary depending on usamanasya how will you know it will depend on carbon atoms bonded to carbon bearing oh asa dapit imong carbon atom nga na connect ang imong oh so this is primary ngano primary alcohol ngano man na your carbon pila ka buok ang iyang na connect nga si H3 usara no siara gyud no so this is kani usara no usara here it is a primary alcohol kani pila ka si H3 ang present duha na connect ang OH this is a secondary so no na na gani to look about it is a tertiary alcohol na that is how alcohols are being classified. Primary, kung usara ka si H3, duha ka si H3, secondary, tulo ka si H3, tertiary na. No? So, we have now example here. Draw the Lewis structure and condensed structural formula of this. CH3, C8O. How? Ang sa itong buhaton? Then identify ko nun siya kung secondary or primary. Una. No? Okay, here. Pila ka buk carbon? Tulo. So, one, two, three. Una hong yung carbon. Then, ang pinakauna nga carbon, nga niya, pila ka buk hydrogen? Tulo. Ang ma-branch. Ay kaduhang carbon, pila yung ma-branch? Duha. Na hydrogen. Ang sunod, katulo, duha. So, pila na ka buk hydrogen? Tulo. Plus duha, lima. Na plus no lima na no plus ang ikatulo kinahalang walo so that is that is H H then di ni mo pwede buta ng H O it should be una ang O then H like that okay here o na nasya no pwede ing ani pwede po ni nato ni mo ibuta ng sa iba ba no ang strategy is Unahon sa ang pila ka carbon is straight chain ni mo carbon, no? Then ang pinakalas ibot ang OH or pwede na po gihapon na ang ha. O ang OH, no? Ay ibot ang una, basta tunga, no? Una ni mo butangan dayon og mga hydrogen. No? So this one is what? This is a primary kay ano man kana siya is equivalent to 1, no? Equivalent to one ranisia, so that is primary alcohol. Kani and he is equivalent to what? Na tuwa mas iba ba? No, ania. So equivalent to kanisia. This is another group, another group. Na CH. No, so it is secondary. That's the difference between the primary and the secondary. No. What is the difference between ethyl alcohol and na isopropyl? The isopropyl alcohol or ethyl alcohol? When you ethyl alcohol, alcohol, it is na these are byproducts coming from the sugar cane. Ang source niya ang iyang source. Ang isopropyl alcohol, this is the byproduct. Ang byproduct coming from na gasoline, kerosene, like that. Na so mas isog ang isopropyl alcohol and isopropyl alcohol is good for to disinfect especially cut and cuts and wounds scrapes like that na pero habdos lang asa mas habdos pareho na siya pero that ethyl alcohol mo na ethyl alcohol is useful especially for no anang mag disinfect ka sa using your hands like that and ano man, if you will be using isopropyl alcohol, tendency is it could dry your skin. Ingano man, ang source is from the, no, 
the byproducts from the no, crude alcohol, uh, crude oil, no, while the other one is the byproduct from sugar cane. So, mas makadry dali ang isopropyl alcohol compared sa ethyl alcohol. No? So, here, let us draw the Lewis structure for this, the CH4. What's the hint? No? Unahong yun ang carbon. Pilang carbon. Opat. One, two, three, four. Then, ang pinaka una na carbon, tulog yung kabuk hydrogen. Ang musunod, duha-duha. No? Ano na siya, ha? That is how you write it. Pinaka una na carbon na makaband siya to look hydrogen. Ang musunod sa carbon, pinaka una ay kaduha, duha ragyon. Duha, ibabaw o kubos. Followed by sunod-sunod na siya. O ang pinaka last na po, tulog yun siya. Una o tulog na carbon, what is it? How many carb hydrogen? Tulog. Na? Okay. What are amines? These are organic compounds, no? With what happened? Your hydrogen of ammonia are replaced with the NH2, NH, no? and N. No? Napuna siya ay tulo. That's the primary, secondary, and tertiary. But do not worry because we are just introducing here this functional group. We are not going to delve into the deeper sense. Okay? Usa usa yun niya i discuss in every chapter. No? Okay. So this is a primary amine. Ano primary? Di ba yung kung usa kasi H3? Ani a? It's a secondary. Okay. This is tertiary amine. Okay. Tulo na kasi H3. No. So how are we going to draw the condensed here? No. Same thing. Unahon sa ang no pila ka carbon tulo. Then last in band ang N. H here two no this one no? so to look a carbon then NH2 pwede po ni nga ana no? una pa dayon ninyo butangan of hydrogen in every carbon so here you will have this formula na no? structural formula this one you will have this structural formula okay so you should practice in writing the structural formula no here how are you going to draw this same regi hapon basta na yan ni nh nh2 yun siya ang pinaka last no so that is four carbons so one two three four last da yon ang nh2 no no last da yon nh2 then e, e distribute da yon ang hydrogen Okay, for aldehydes, aldehydes and ketones, they have common functional group. That is the carbonyl group. Okay, that's aldehydes and ketones. That is C double bond O, the aldehydes, you have a CHO, C double bond OH, huh? that's CHO. And ketone, ketone, these are compounds containing carbonyl group bonded to two carbons. Okay, so this is an aldehyde, a CHO, no? aldehyde is here. This is a ketone, no? on a difference a ketone, on aldehyde. Ang aldehyde mga bata, pinakalas na asa, ang functional group sa aldehyde na asa, pinakalas. No? Ang ketone is pwede bisag asa siya na pita. No? Nasa ikatwa, ikatulo, depende na siya. No? That is for that one. How are we going to draw the structural formula of aldehydes? Okay, here. That one. Unaha ang CHO, CH3, CH. Upat man. No? Pwede na siya ka straight, ana, pwede po ana, kani. This one. No? Okay. No? So, basta ang um, aldehyde, ang pinakalas is. C double band OH, or you can have it as CHO. For ketones, no? example for this, you draw this. No? Sige lang. 
all of this will be taken in the activities in the laboratory. So how many carbon? Five. No? So one, two, three, four, five. No? Then you can have that O there either na as a second carbon, third carbon, or whatever. No? So that is it. For carboxylic acid, and carboxylic acid, same regapone siya sa aldehyde. Na as a pinakalas ang Ayaw ba tayo alcohol? Naghapdos ng alcohol? Oh, sige. Okay. So, carboxylic acid, the, the same with aldehydes. And, ang end, ang CHO. Now, C double band, O, then H. Same thing, ang carboxylic acid sa pinakalas na yun siya, C double band, O. No? That is for carboxylic acid. Ingin po kani, kan ha, yun na siya sa pinakalas, forming a carbon. No? Uh, so, how are you going to draw this? Same thing. Unaha sa pagbutang ang carbon. Una ni mo, o oh, ang COOH, pinakalas. Una ni mo i-distribute ang hydrogen in every carbon. Uh, then we have here another example for carboxylic ester. Nahin ang carboxylic ester. Na? Ang carboxylic ester is... That C double bond O O then na apay alkyl group kani. That is why it's so called ester. Ayo sa muka stress ani kaya naman. This will be taken individually. Then we have the methyl acetate. Yapon that pH to look a carbon. Na to look a carbon and kani mo anang imong methyl. This is the methyl, this methyl, and this is the monium acetate nimo, na? Like that. So just look into the sample problem here, na? So as an assignment, you are going to, na? Have the three structure here, and it's three structure, the three secondary alcohols with this molecular formula. The three secondary structure of amine with this formula, then you are going to draw structural formula of six ketones for this and this one. I will upload this in our, no? in our Google Classroom as your print. Okay, thank you. This is the end. Thank you and a pleasant day.